Hello. You thought that we were not going to come, didn't you? You thought the Radkeys forgot you, but they didn't forget you. They just put you off for about 33 minutes. <laughs> That's not true. Hey. Well, it's not 33 minutes, but it, it is. It is Okay, so we, well, we talked about yesterday. We talked about yesterday um, maybe going a little bit later. And then wouldn't you know, accidentally we overslept today. <laughs> Tara, we're here. We're here, everybody. Hi. We're here. Um, we just got started a little bit later today. I, for one, could not go to sleep last night. I didn't sleep real well last night. Did I you get, have a heating pad on your neck when yeah, I woke I up? Something going on. That's why he, he rarely ever oversleeps. But when I woke up, Mary Jo! Hi, Mary Jo! We're so glad you're here. But when I woke up this morning and he had a... I thought that was a heating pad on your neck. I thought, oh no, it's not going to be a good morning. And I personally... And wearing these because what is this bad boy right here? What? what? I can't see what I'm Look at that. I mean, it is like, you don't see that? When I touch my nose, it hurts. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, barely. Yeah. Uh, oh, but I'm using my Origin Spot Remover. If you do not have that Origin Spot Remover, I don't get zits a lot, <clears throat> she says. She has one here and here and here. But... Um, origin spot remover, little bitty tiny green thing. Put it on, that'll zap that overnight. Well, good morning, everybody. Somebody just like commented a whole long comment, but I didn't see it. I'm sorry, it went by too fast. I was talking. Um, Thanks for watching Rise and Red Key. If uh, you're watching on replay, let us know on Instagram or YouTube. Make sure to follow Melissa on either one of those channels if you're not already. If you're watching it in line at HEB, perhaps, like somebody just said they were, what a wonderful place to be. I would rather run myself over with a car right now. But, you know, to each his own. Um, okay. Uh, oh, you're going for it. Somebody is going for a job interview. I wonder, is it in person or is it? Yeah, like, that's what I'm wondering. Food, Zoom or Skype or something. Because I'm here to tell you, if you were doing like a job interview, like over Skype or, or over FaceTime or Facebook Live or anything, you can essentially go with no pants on. I mean, I'm not saying I know that firsthand, and if it's but I've heard that sometimes people will do things and they'll just take care of themselves from here up, but not from face from there down. Who would do that? I don't know. Do you remember that time? <laughs> do you, remember, you know what I'm gonna say? Mm -hmm. Do you remember that time on Rise and Reiki when I was saying that, and then at the very end, you patted me real hard on the leg, and you just hurt my skin. <laughs> <laughs> I was so mad at you. Um, Hello, good morning to the yes, shelter in place in Bell County, Texas. Somebody asked if I had a Giants hat on. I do have a Giants hat on uh, for well, two reasons. I have lots of different hats. I'm a big baseball fan in general. Yes, I'm still Astros number one. Uh, but with Rocco being on Why all kind of... you want to do that this morning? Everybody's going to be coming at us. Rocco being on all kind of little league teams of the year. But we're also Giants fans because of uh, Brandon Belt being from Hudson. Brandon Belt went, graduated from my high school... Um, okay, somebody's supposed to have a video call interview, so good luck with that. I'm living proof that you don't have to get all dolled up for people to love you. Um, Hop Town in the house, Sherry Trogdon is here, West Virginia is here, um, let's see, Lubbock is here with, a uh, goodness, Dave sheltering in place, Clear Lake, Texas is in the house, Harris County just announced shelter in place, oh my Ooh. goodness, Harris County's getting close. Oh, that's getting really close. That's Houston for... David wears a lot of hats. David David has probably one million hats, but he only wears like four over and over and over. I think he's the cutest in his Yeti hat. I wish he wore that more. Um, it's the business mullet. The new, okay, so Denise Harlan says, love your glasses. Thank you very much. I didn't know are, she was talking to you. Yeah, that's true. I don't know that she was talking to me. Um, well, good morning, everybody. Let us know where you're coming from, and also talk to us on the replay. We were just laying in bed last night, and I was reading him some replay um, comments. I, I'm, I'm going to read y'all's comments. Somebody cracked me up with what, what, whatever it was they said. I was reading that to you. I can't remember what it was now. But we go back, we read your replay comments, we talk about them, we, we comment on them a lot of times too. So thank you for letting us know if you're watching it on replay. Um, but hey, and I want to put a challenge out to the Tuesday uh, people here. Monday, uh, if you were watching, they did so good about sharing. They shared with their friends. So many people are 
just wanting something to watch or something different, or they want to look at us and go, wow, we don't have it that bad. So share us with uh, your friends or your enemies. Yeah. Okay. Did you see my CBS interview? Yeah. Did you record it for me to watch? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, I now, was... Do you remember um, you had walked back to the back and I said, hey, Melissa, just like that, that tone that, you know, because I had it ready. The next to... part's going to oh. be dramatic. The next part's going to be dramatic. you watch? Okay, first of all. And so I said, never mind. Do you remember that? Yeah, are, are you do are you doing a gl a glib look? Is that glib doesn't look good on you? It's more my color. It's not really your tone. Okay. Do I look like someone that would know what glib even means? <laughs> You're being glib. That's a thing. You're being glib. It sounds like you've been on the internet reading the the chillins uh, words too much. Um, yesterday on Rise on um, uh, Ruminade, Rumi. Remy introduced her brother as this is my loquacious brother Rocco. <laughs> that was a vocabulary word. That was a vocabulary word she had like two weeks ago. Thank God she's remembered something from school. Um, well, good morning, Kate Jeff from Iowa. I'm glad you're here. Speaking of school, today's a big day. Why? The assignments come out here. Also, well, really, they had some teachers that had popped them up a little uh, bit some yesterday. Some of the teachers had kind of been doing some stuff, but today, at least here, I'm sure a lot of you are, are doing that. Um, we also got an email yesterday that said, if your kid wants to come to school tomorrow and drive through the parking lot, we can, if they are enrolled in school, they can get a breakfast and a lunch. Five breakfasts, five lunches. I thought that was incredible because there's so many kids that you don't realize that they have an issue getting enough meals or eating enough without the school. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw, I, I wish I remember, oh, Gilmer, Gilmer, Texas. Um, they were actually doing it with their buses. Their buses were uh, actually delivering to their bus stops and uh, and doing it that way. Kara Day said, a few of us ladies read or are reading your book. We may have dubbed you as our new best friend and share everything, usually starting with, I think our best friend Melissa would say something like this. Mm -hmm. I think that is genius, Kara. And chances are, I would probably like y'all just as much. Um, and David, is that by any chance the one who they did my book for the book club and I told you to send them the questions? Uh, I don't, I don't think so. We have questions. Know. You need to send them to her. Um, yeah, we have like a discussion guide if anybody is doing, uh, if anybody is doing the, mm -hmm. it can be brave as a book club. I just sent that to somebody yesterday. So. Okay. I don't, th I don't think it was her, but if it so if it wasn't her, you might want to send her those. Yeah. Email Melissa at melissaradke.com. Also, if you're in the Eat Cake, Be Brave book club, remember this is the last week of the Five and Dimes, the uh, daily live. So if you bought the paperback, hop on today at 5.15. Sorry, I'm doing that. My feet are cold. I'm touching your feet. Now, what I was going to say about the kids' lunches and the breakfast and lunches, which I'm very, very happy that the school is doing that. I'm happy that all of y'all schools, or a lot of them are doing that. Um, but I said to Rocco yesterday, hey, Rox, you want to pull through the school tomorrow and uh, pick you up some lunches? Thinking, that, I mean, what kid in their right mind would not go, oh, I don't want a school lunch. And he went like this. He went, hmm, what are they serving? <laughs> and I go, it don't matter what they're serving. You ain't getting it. And he said, why? And I said, why would you want to go get a school lunch when you're right here in your own house? And he's like, because we've had sandwiches like five days in a row. He also said, sometimes they, they have, uh, what are those things that, he goes, sometimes they have funnel cake at breakfast. Rocco has never eaten a breakfast at that school in his life. Somebody has told him that. And I can assure you, thanks to Michelle Obama, we do not have funnel cakes at breakfast anymore. She made sure everybody was eating healthy. Is she? Is that still the case? If so, I think that's great. But hey, hey, from Wisconsin, David, we want the book club page to remain open. Oh, dear Lord Jesus. David, just disregard her. Um, uh, I'm so sad we're almost finished with Eat Cake Be Brave. Oh, so I'm so glad that you, okay, I'm so glad that you got it. All right, so today is... Um, Somebody just said, I'm I'm getting your book for my sister for her birthday. And then she said, oops, I just told her what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
Okay, listen, um, today is Trending Topic Tuesday, meaning we're going to try to talk to you about some topics that are trending that are not corona-related. We thought you would enjoy that, and boy, do we have some for you, so stay tuned. But I do want to remind you that Wednesdays are We Are Here For You Wednesdays, and so we want your questions. I have a couple left over from last week that I wasn't able to get to, and so we're going to have those for tomorrow as well. But please, please, please reach out to us. It ain't like you ain't got time. Okay. I need to I need to interrupt you cuz you're going to want to read that. Oh my gosh. Mary Lou Taylor says, "OMG, I'm from Belfast in Northern Ireland. Ireland. I watch your show and love it. Brilliant entertainment." All right. We're I want, done. I want to take Have a moment. A I want to take a moment. <laughs> I'm telling y'all what, I have a Pinterest page set up and the first trip that I'm gonna go on when I can actually go anywhere and have money is Ireland. I wanna go to Ireland so bad. So Mary Lou Taylor, you're my favorite person on here and everybody else is rock from Iowa or West Virginia <laughs> or Texas. Y'all are trash and you're dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> you're trash and you're dead to me. When people from Ireland start watching me, I feel like, like even the other day, Remy goes, um, I said, Remy, somebody was watching you from Australia. And she goes, Australia? I'm waiting on Ireland. <laughs> I said, I know, Remy, me too. Ireland in the holes. All right. Everybody wants funnel cakes for breakfast now. You know what? Me too. Get in line, kids. I want a funnel cake for breakfast too. Okay? Ooh, you know what? And don't you freaking dare put any fruit on the top of it. Oh, you know, uh, churros would be good for breakfast too. Mm. Why don't you run to Sam's and get us a couple? I'm sure you won't have to wait in a line for 18 hours. Um, wait, you don't want to come to good old Pennsylvania? That's right, Tara. Keep it scrolling. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. You know what's in Pennsylvania? The Amish? The town of Hershey. <gasps> oh. They probably have an extra wing put onto their museum, thanks to me. <laughs> you, know that that's true. you know that park in downtown Hershey, PA? Mm hmm. That's her. Sponsored by <laughs> Melissa Radke. Here are, so what I was going to say before I was so interrupted for such good reasons is that if you have we're here for you Wednesday you've got to email me your questions to Melissa at melissaradke.com that's really not hard to remember Melissa at melissaradke.com so send your questions we are taking everything you and your spouse and you and your partner and you and your kid and you and your teenager are arguing about right now in the house send us those we will be the deciding factor we're the judge and the jury and the executioner all rolled into one. So go to Melissa at MelissaRadke.com. Tell us what you are arguing about right now and we'll make the call. That's how Rise and Radke ever got started in the first place because we turned on Facebook Live one morning when we were having a disagreement about parenting so that all of you guys who follow me would tell him that he's wrong and I'm right. It didn't pan out that way. It who, didn't pan out that wrong? way. He was. Y'all said he was right. Yeah. And here we are. We've been doing this ever since. So we will do it, guys. We will take your problems and make them ours for a moment. Ours? Ow, ours. Like ours. Ours. We'll make them ours. So send that to Melissa at MelissaRadke.com. Thank you for that lovely segue, which leads me into my trending topic that I'm bringing to the table today. You guys, have you seen the video? Because it's had like four, I think, something million views. Have you seen the video of the family who could not go to Disney, I'm assuming? I don't know if it was that they couldn't go to Disney. Like it got canceled or they just were this creative, but they recreated the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in their home. No way. David, it is hysterical. I don't think It that. is so hysterical. So literally, you've got to look it up. It was a trending thing on the news. You've got to look it up. They have a sled and so they go, they, they literally have a guy dressed like he's a pirate and he's supposed to be the worker. So he's like, so then they come out of the room and they both get on the sled, one right behind each other, and he goes, Har mateys, keep your your hands and your feet inside the car at all times. Arg! And then someone that you can't see starts pulling them through the house with with a big rope around the sled. And when they go around in through the kitchen, like there's a, a brother sitting on the counter and he's going like this. <laughs> <laughs> like he's drinking. And then they go through another room and it's a mom. And I mean, literally, you and I have ridden that ride a couple of times. They knew the ride perfectly and they just set it up all in their house. It's hilarious. And it's, first of all, 
how wonderful. Like, how wonderful. Like, let's just look for the good. That is so creative. That is a family being creative with each other. And they're all stuck in there together. Why not have fun about it? So, I think that's very cool. I think that is actually cool. one of my favorite course. I say this about 100 rides at Disney. That's one of my favorite rides because it's like that classic dealy, uh, dealy. It's like that classic ride at Disney that uh, the anim animatronics, is that what they call them? But it just makes, I don't know, it's just so. What are you talking about? I just love that ride at Disney. Which one? Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. But Caribbean. David, Caribbean. Because they have all the animatronics. <sighs> Why do you always call it the Caribbean? Even that guy from the 90s sang, Caribbean Queen. Now we're sharing the same dream. He sang that. Hi, hey, don't ever call Billy Ocean that guy. Billy Ocean. Billy Ocean. I'm sorry, Billy. He's been watching us every morning, which is hard because I think he's dead. So, Billy. Um, anyway, but the Pirates of the Caribbean was also the one we were on when that horrible storm came to Disney. And we were right in the middle of it and all the lights came up. We have literally seen... Behind the scenes of Pirates of the Caribbean, and just so y'all know, from the waist down, they don't only not wear pants. There's nothing there but metal. Okay, I mean, literally, we were driving through it. The, it was going, bang, bang, bang. all the lights were up. We were on the boat, and I remember Remy going, "This is horrifying. This is terrible. We shouldn't be seeing this." Yeah, it's just like. But it was raining really bad outside. We got to sit inside about. 10 to 10 minutes. We were very glad. Okay, what's your trending topic for today? Uh, I just, I, yesterday I got a whole lot of relief because years really I have been tied in knots. Just so you know, before you say another word, uh, this is going to end bad for you. This is going to end bad for you. <laughs> I've been tied in knots, not knowing was Taylor telling the truth? Was Kanye telling the truth? What was Kim's involvement? Yesterday, the full recording came out, and Tay-Tay has been vindicated. Okay. The full recording has come out. Taylor Swift was not told by Kanye West, hey, I'm going to call you a B-word. I'm going to call you a bitch in front of the entire world on my song, Is That Okay? Okay? He didn't ask her that. And then when the song comes out and he refers to her as that and she gets mad, he says, oh, but no, trailer trash. I, he doesn't say that, but no, I asked you. No, he didn't because now it's come out. But just so you know, you haven't liked her for like three years because you said she is so whiny. Oh, she is whiny. so, she is not. Someone literally called her that in front of the entire world and they didn't ask her if that was okay. She is not whiny. I would say most people that call people that don't ask their permission. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to lie. That was a great point. <laughs> that was a great point. But still, I watched Miss Americana. Have you guys watched that on um, Netflix? The Taylor? I love that. I thought the Taylor Swift documentary was great. I love her. I think she's wonderful. Um, Carly Jones says, yeah, I kind of figured she was telling the truth. This one did. Ann Chapman agrees with David. You know what? Kimberly Blankenship says, my husband doesn't like her either. Well, you know what? I'm like Jana. We all love her here. You're the only one that doesn't. Well, you and Rocco. But you know what? Remy and I do. Um, so I kind of... Tay-Tay Tay is a mean girl. She is not a mean girl. She is not a mean girl. I will say, I will say this. One of the greatest songwriters... In a long pop pop songwriters in a long long time. Part of it is I think she writes with that country bent where it's more storytelling, but she's an amazing amazing songwriter. I told David when her last album came out, I said, "If I was a man, it's going to be huge." I'm just telling you, it's going to be huge. And I played it for him one time, and he's like, "Oh, it's cute, it's catchy." And then you actually listened to the words, and you were like, "Dang, good that's girl. a good song." So okay, that's your trending topic of the day. Well, Taylor that, wasn't lying and Kanye was. Whoa, stop the presses. I got a, By all means. <clears throat> I got a, uh, well, I got a few. There's lots of things that are trendy. Well, we're Another, not going to do them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to I do, I want to do something. I want to ask you guys to do me a favor. We're going to play a little game right before we get off. We're not going to keep you much longer. But I saw this yesterday and I may do it on my Facebook page as well today. But I want to try it here. 
I want you to tell me something funny that your kids have done recently while being stuck in the house with you, but I want you to use the word coworker instead of their name or instead of the word kid. So I want you to say, you know, my coworker ate cereal and then threw it up in my bedroom this morning. Like, I want you guys to try to do that for me. So I was reading some on um, a page that I was looking at last night and I was, tears were rolling down my face. Okay. <laughs> I've got a good reminder. I mean, literally one of them said, <clears throat> my coworker jumped up in the middle of our meal and yelled, I gotta go poop. <laughs> Okay, so I want you guys to tell me something that your kid is doing, something funny that has happened, and instead of using the word kid, replace it with coworker. I got a great one. My coworker ate a frozen waffle. It wouldn't have been weird except it was still frozen. <laughs> <laughs> my coworker drank my coffee. Okay, this is wonderful. I would, but I, I don't have any children. Way to bring us down, Doris Doyle. Doris doesn't have any coworkers. My coworker snaps every time coronavirus is mentioned. Oh God, my eleven-year-old coworker thinks it's hookups instead of hiccups. (laughs) 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 Okay. My coworker is praying he don't get diabetes during this quarantine. I saw, I saw a uh, meme I loved yesterday. I had to take a nap so I would stop eating during quarantine. <laughs> Somebody just said, my coworker keeps coming to work topless. <laughs> that was mine. My my coworker, my coworker <coughs> climbed up in my lap completely naked. <laughs> Wait, who did that? Right, I'm going to get out of the shower. I need a towel around it. Oh my gosh. My coworkers are demanding snacks while I'm on a conference call. My coworker used the ice dispenser for pizza rolls. <laughs> okay. Hey, listen. This is wonderful. Okay, listen. Oh, this is... Everybody, if you've already said one or if you're thinking about one, save these. A little later this morning, Melissa's gonna put a post up and you've got to be on it quick. Please, and you've gotta, y'all. You've got to push these. Please. These are these were great. not. This was not my idea. I would give credit to the person if I knew who came up with this idea. But please, in fact, I'll do it right after I get off of this. Do you want me to? Okay. Yeah. Because I can't read your comments. They're coming too fast. And y'all, we I have tears in my people. eyes. Okay, my coworker fought over a certain piece of prime rib that the boss made. <laughs> my coworker's sleeping on the job. Break to some social distancing so they don't kill each other. My coworkers. <laughs> My 60 year old co worker hasn't Whoa. worn pants for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> if, we, <laughs> if we put our spouses. Okay, stop. We gotta stop, y'all. This is wonderful. It's the best thing we've done all week. My co worker refuses to wear pants and proceeds to dance on the table. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as soon as we get off here, I'm gonna put it up. Give me a second, and then y'all have got to fill it in and share it. This will bring joy to people. This will bring joy. Um, on that note, I read a really great quote yesterday, and I want to end with it. Be sure and email us, Melissa at Melissa Radke, for We're Here For You Wednesday. We're going to take what, what it, you are arguing about in your house right now. Feel me, feel me. My coworker keeps following me to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do this all day. Hi, Judy from Rhode Island. Dad, come and I snorted. David, I told you I don't want to... My coworker just beat up another coworker and made her cry. Oh God! Okay, seriously, these are the best. Um, send your emails to Melissa at melissaradke.com, and we will solve your family disturbances tomorrow on our show. But um, just know this: this is a quote that I heard yesterday. We go where we're looking. I thought that was a beautiful quote. We go where we're looking. And if you're looking for joy today, I have a feeling you're going to find it. If you're looking to smile today, I have a feeling you're going to smile. If you're looking to be miserable, if you're looking to be depressed, I think you'll find that too. So congratulations with that. But you don't want to look for that. You want to look for the positive and for the joy and for the light in a really dark time. I bet if you look for it, you find it. So we're going to go post that question. Y'all, let me get it up and then you can um, put your comments in. They're wonderful. 
This is so great. Replayers, let us know what your coworker is doing. Okay, bye y'all. Share, share, share. See you guys.